What's up guys, it's Trek, and this is available on Amazon right now, but this is really, really cool because it is a new modulus blaster from Hasbro, but what I'm really excited about is that this is a new affordable primary class uh, blaster. This is the new recon, the new retaliator, the new what have you, but it is a pump action Springer. You guys know that I love my pump action Springer. Springer Master Race up in here. Slam fire blasting, which means that this has all of the best features of the Elite Alpha Trooper, but but in a more compact package, will that make it less ergonomic? I don't know necessarily, but I am very, very excited about the Mediator in general. Now, what it is, is a color matched or modulus at this point in strike blaster. Now modulus has really replaced in strike as the buzzword de jour for saying that this has a stock attachment point and a barrel attachment point and tactical rails out the wazoo. And that is important. The coolest thing about this however is that this only cost me 20 United States dollars to pick up on Amazon that is so cheap compared to what Hasbro has been selling stuff to us at all year realistically or for the last three years honestly like this is less money than a modulus strife and that is awesome because out of the box I can already tell you this is going to perform better than a stock strife but this is just the core blaster, which is why it only costs 20 United States dollars. Now, just the core blaster is enough for most people. There's also a barrel and a stock attachment, which will make for the entirety of the Mediator blaster platform. It comes with next to nothing, but that's okay. Most nerfers at this point have plenty of accessories. I even brought out a couple of my own favorites, but... Let's go ahead, let's flip it over, let's take a look. We are obviously still waiting on the Mediator stock and the Mediator barrel to assemble the trifecta. And once assembled, this is going to be a really cool primary class blaster. Right now, it's floating around that pseudo primary range where this is obviously like a bare bones, pure performance powerhouse, and alliteration aside, I really just want to get my hands on one. So, I did get to play with the entire system while I was at Hazcon and that was awesome but I'm really stoked to have one in my workshop that I can dissect for you later on because you know that if this is going to be the new Springer class blaster then we're absolutely going to have to get a mod guide out for it in the near future so let's release it from its cardboard prison and there we have it. It's not going to do anything yet because it does have a Raider mag well that's going to need to be added. Now, side loading is the only thing that this does that makes me disappointed that it's not an Elite Alpha Trooper. I would give all of King Midas' silver for a uh, Modulus Alpha Trooper, but is this a disconnect button? Is that really what this is going to do? Is this going to let you break this down if you want to? I won't fool with that for now, but there's definitely a button on here and it has never been possible to get one of these mag wells off without some serious work. So if that is what this feature is, I actually, I really wanna know. As long as we're learning together, guys, there should be somewhere in here something that tells us what this button is for. Clip release is just there, so, uh, Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, nothing to tell us. Oh wait, release button. If you can't pull back the handle, hold down the release button and try pulling back the handle again. So it's like a D, a D jamming button. Interesting. So again, once you've assembled this, it is assembled. It's gonna be tricky to pry this off. So if you do plan on modifying your blaster, definitely check out my mod guide first and just do that before you go ahead and put that magwell on because everything will be just a little bit easier if you order your operations properly. But let's go ahead, load up our modulus darts for a very unbiased uh, firing demo. And then I've also got another six clip and some funky knockoff darts as well. But at 20 United States dollars, you get this very compact Springer primary, which again has a full Stock attachment point matches with the rest of the modulus line and a barrel attachment point. 
which is pretty cool in and of itself. These are just two of my favorite accessories. You can pick whatever you want. Obviously, the blaster is designed specifically to mate with these blaster accessories. But let's go ahead and prime, throw in our main clipazine, pull this off, pull this off, and fire. Getting pretty standard elite performance. That's a 40-foot shot sitting, standing, also 40, and then we'll try an angled shot. Whee! There's that sweet, sweet 70 foot shots that you'd never hit anything with, but uh, priming and firing, we will hold down the trigger after the shot so that we can slam fire through. Not bad at all. So a slam fire Springer primary. I didn't think we'd have one for a while. Throw in a new magazine and you can see that this is exactly how it works. Standard dart tooth for the day and a uh, actually different uh, kind of dart guide here, but very nice. So we're gonna pull that. Oh, you have to have this closed. Wow. Has my attempt to talk while tinkering jammed the blaster up? It would seem so unfortunate. Are we gonna need to push the button? Oh boy, let's see if this works. We're learning a lot of things today. Button down. And nothing. Well, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, you can usually beat these into submission like so, and then it becomes a whole lot easier to clear whatever ails them. So let's what have I done? <laughs> I broke my mediator immediately. Well, that's uh, that's Springer's for you. They are a little fickle when they have all of their locks inside. Does it just not like this magazine? This is an inch strike magazine. What's going on? These are even Nerf darts. Uh oh, not looking good for you, mediator. So definitely in sore need of a modification guide because something is hanging up on this magazine. I wonder if it'll do it on the magazine that it came with if it's just having a discrepancy between my old tech. Which stinks because I was just about to tell you guys that the coolest thing about the Instrike line and the reason that it's been so successful is because of how cross compatible everything is and how reliable it is that you don't need to buy new stuff to play with it. So. <sighs> Disappointed in you. Disappointed in you, Mediator. Not really sure why this particular magazine is giving you such gripes. This is a standard Instrike Elite magazine. I would tell you what it's from specifically, but it is impossible for me to know because I have literally like two or three hundred six clips. So I've taken the darts out to remove that factor and I'm gonna see if I can't get it to prime through this magazine. And I. So what you guys can't tell on camera is that I am seriously manhandling it to get that to, to happen. And these seem functionally identical to me, so, uh, I don't know, kind of disappointing. Other than that gripe, very happy with the mediator at 29 States dollars. Again, I will be cracking this open and there will be a modification guide in the annotation, not annotations anymore, thanks YouTube, in the end screen coming up. Aesthetically, a pretty good looking blaster, no lime green. This is a funky color, but very modulus. I actually really just wanna compliment whatever color plastic this is. It reminds me of like Filamentum Galaxy PLA because it's a very nice uh, gray that seems sort of metallic-y. I am, however, confused as to why this is a flat gray and this is a cool gray like why don't why why know these two match hasbro why know who do you do what do we do but uh i don't know i'm just a toy reviewer guys that's my take on it really thrilled to have a 20 dollar uh springer primary out there it's obviously very compact it's realistically a raider pistol from back in the day except instead of priming uh, on the side up here you have an actual grip built into an underneath area uh, the side rail here is kind of cool there's one up here obviously but plenty of different space to attach all of your favorite stuff i will 
only make a combos video for this if you guys ask me to in the comment section down below. And I would like to wait, ideally, for the actual combo that we need to put together to come out. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this very honest look at the Nerf Modulus Mediator because uh, I have no interest in fibbing to you guys here. It definitely has some hangups. It is 100% not perfect. Uh, ergonomically, I still wish this would be a angled foregrip as opposed to a vertical foregrip, but that can always be fixed with 3D printing. As far as everything else goes, it's a good looking blaster that performs exactly how we expected it would. Thank you very much for watching. Much love. Nerf on, Drac out. <laughs>